So down here in 47, this means that we can use a calculator on this question. So the population is growing at 5% per year. That's your growth rate, which translates to 0 0.05 as a decimal. Never use a percentage in your equation. Never, ever, ever. <clears throat> if its population was 8,000 people, okay, that's your a naught, your initial population in 2000, that's the year we start at. What will the population be in 2020? Which means we have surpassed 20 years of time. So 2000 tells us that's time zero. And we want to know after 20 years, what will the population be? So we go right into this formula. 8000 to start. E to the 0 0.05 growth rate times the 20 year period. And you put this in your calculator and you get not enough. 8,000, not 80. Is 21,746. Okay, yes, there's a decimal place, but you can't have a quarter of a person that's living that's a whole entire person, no matter what. So we're going to have 21,746 as the population after 20 years. <clears throat> okay. In addition, here we have a question that says we have bacterial growing. Um, the number of bacteria in a culture was 1,000 after 6 hours. Okay. And if it grows at 10% an hour... What was the population at the start? So this is our A value. We're looking for A sub 0, the population at time 0. So we started with 1,000, or rather we have 1,000 after 6 hours. We want to know what A sub 0 is. If our growth rate is 10% and it was 6 hours to get there. Okay, now remember, this is just a decimal. So I'm going to divide both sides by e to the point 60. And I multiply 6 times point 0.1, I get point 0.60. So divide 1,000 by e to the point 60. And that should give you exactly what your population started at. Approximately, of course. So I started out with 548 organisms six hours ago, and that six hours at a 10% growth rate, it grew to be 1,000. Bacteria, that's a lot. <clears throat> so let's do this one too, just for fun. So here is your formula for, looks like, um, Half-life, A naught times one-half to the T over K. So we want to figure out how long is the half-life. We started with 5,000 grams, so that's A sub zero. We currently have 500 grams, that's your A, and your time is in six days. So let's plug it all into this equation and see if we can solve this thing for K. So 500 equals 5,000 times 1 half to the 6 over K. <clears throat> so order of operations would say divide by 5,000 to get your stuff all alone here. And 500 divided by 5,000 is 0.1 equals 1 half times it's raised to the 6 over k. Okay, so no, we're not going to multiply by 1 half. That's not what we do. This is an exponential equation. So we solve exponentials by natural logging. So we natural log both sides. We don't do anything to the 1 half. That would just be ridiculous. 
We do that so we can bring your exponent to the front. So let's see, I need some, let's see, natural log of 0 0.10 equals 6 over k times the natural log of 1 half, which we'll just write as 0.5 to stay consistent. So we're going to divide both sides by natural log of 1 half. Let's see what that is, natural log of 0.1 divided by the natural log of 0.5. That comes out to be 3.321928 and change, so we're not going to round just yet. 6 over k. So we're going to multiply both sides by your denominator. And then I'm going to divide both sides by this 3.3 stuff. So 6 divided by that. comes out to be 1.806. So basically our half-life is 1.8 days. So every 1.8 days it will lose half of its material. Now what would that be in hours? What's 0.8 of a day? So 0.8 times 24 since there's 24 hours in a day is every one day and 19 hours. It loses half of its material. So 24 plus 19. So every 43 hours, it loses half of its stuff. Okay, so I don't know how you want it to write, but just in case you want it in days and hours and minutes, you have to change your decimal to how many hours of the day. Sounds good to me.